My mixed media piece is called Prosperity. I used paint, splatter paint in the back, and watercolor pencil, and a little bit of granite pencil. Can you tell us what the objective for this project was? At first it was to involve hands within a piece, but it shifted from that to um, getting the idea that something on a piece of paper is not in fact 2D, but it is 3D. You had to have proper shading and then you can go abstract with it, but also to incorporate hands within a um, three-dimensional 2D piece. Now, are these based on your hands or uh, someone else's hand? They're actually based on my hands, and I was really glad with how they turned out. It was a little difficult at first, but I got the hand of it. Tell us about the color palette on it. It's kind of an interesting one. I like the idea of using darks with whatever I use, but also highlights. I used, obviously, a rose, red, and green. Those are um, opposite colors. They go really well, and I decided to cut what I drew out, put it on a piece of blue paper, and splatter paint of a darker blue, lighter blue, and medium blue in between. And uh, maybe tell us about uh, drawing the rose. Is that based on a picture, or is that right out of your mind? The rose is right out of my mind. When I first became an artist, or when I first looked up how to draw something, it was indeed a rose. And I love drawing them. I could just incorporate roses within any drawing I do. I love drawing roses. But I grew out of that and started drawing other plants, everything, and then it bloomed from there. And what would you say was the most difficult thing about creating this piece? Probably cutting it out. The rose, the hands, and the roots were cut out of a white sheet of paper, and cement glued to the blue board behind it. I splatter painted the blue and pasted the rose and hands on, and it took probably three days within itself to properly cut out the rows and the roots. What would you say was the most rewarding part of creating this piece? Probably taking the cement, the extra cement glue off. After you cement glue a one sheet of paper to another, there's um, extra goo around. You take that off and it finalizes the piece and looks beautiful.